Hi, nobody's talking about radiation, radio frequencies um, that come off of the Meta Quest. We're talking headsets you put on your head, um, your brain is absorbing these frequencies. Um, so I asked Meta's AI, which is a llama, I asked that um, about how much radiation the Meta Quest 3 puts off. And I got quite the read up, and I'm going to read most of it to you. Um, Meta Quest 3, previously known as the Oculus Quest, is a VR headset that uses radio frequencies energy to communicate with its controllers and other devices. Yeah, you've got hand controllers, and then um, maybe there's some other accessories, and then you've got the Wi-Fi. That's that's the big one. <laughs> you don't want a Wi-Fi router by your head, man. Um, anyway, I continue on. Like other wireless devices, it emits a small amount of radiation. Here's what we know about the radiation levels of the Meta Quest 3. According to Meta's documentation, the Quest 3 headset is designed to comply with international and safety standards for RF exposure, which limits the amount of energy that can be absorbed by the human body. The specific absorption rate is a measure of the amount of RF energy absorbed by the body. The SAR values for the Quest 3 are head 1G average, body 10G average uh, grams, weights per W per kilogram. For comparison, the FCC's limits for SAR is 1G average for the head and 10G average for the body. So basically they're saying that Meta maximized the amount of radio frequencies the FCC permits to come off of a device. Now, this iPhone, for example, um, just like all of your phones, have a very severe warning. It says, do not put this thing against your body. It says that it needs to be away from your body, to not be used for extended periods of time. Um, radiation and answer K that's pig Latin, uh, you know, uh, it, that, it, that it can cause that. So, um, other types of radiation. In addition to RF radiation, the Quest 3 also emits small amounts of other types of radiation, such as electromagnetic fields, EMFs. The Quest 3's electronics, including its processor and memory, generate EMFs, but these are typically at very low levels. Probably true. Um, anything you plug into an outlet is putting off electromagnetic energy. And, um, you know, there's studies and debates on that and how that affects the mind and the body. Um, these are not the biggest concern so much as it is radio frequencies blasted by your head. I'm not even for pro uh, Bluetooth. You got Bluetooth uh, pieces on your ear. Um, you got Bluetooth frequencies going into your skull, man. That's just, it's, um, you might be over time starting to see some effects on your body and your health and have no idea that that's the cause. There's kids, we're talking youth, that are becoming sterile from their phone being in their pocket. I think it is the G five, I'm just doing it backwards, signal phones, the newer type of radio, you know, strong, short, you know, they got all these towers in the streets versus the big 4G on the hill. Those are so powerful. I, I got a family member that, um, I mean, 10 years ago could not have the, um, uh, 5,000 megahertz it, which is the same thing, frequency on their Wi-Fi in the house because it would give them um, headaches and earrings um, because it, the frequency is real. It messes with you. It's So, you know, it's better to use 2.4 gigahertz on your router and deactivate the 5.0 but or 5.1. I can't remember what it is, but um, that's the same 
signal level and they're putting up these super powerful Wi-Fi routers in your city and calling them G and um, they're like yeah get the latest G phone and um, you know and you'll have this super fast like dude I have four the, the you know and it's still I'm like getting 60 megabits per second download like that's fine for me but I'm not streaming 4k video or playing you know four or 8k video games and doing it online live streaming and all that stuff so I get why people want a faster speed um, which most people are using internet service or paying for but having that kind of speed that they're offering on your phone is oh man it's 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 dangerous I, I won't go into it because that's not the main topic to hear the main topic here is having that thing on your head and having radio frequencies blasting into your brain and coming finding out five years later you got the C word you know oh wow you, you've been having all these struggles blah 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 well they scan your head and find out that there's the C word in your head I'm not kidding man this stuff can, it can be real so you gotta be realistic about it I do have a resolution for you though I do um, if you're going to be someone that uses one of these devices. Okay, I'm going to continue on this. Um, infrared radiation, the Quest 3 sensors such as tracking cameras and controllers use IR LEDs to detect movement and orientation. Okay, comparing to other devices, to put the Quest 3's radiation levels into perspective, here are some comparisons with other devices. Smartphone, example, iPhone 13. The SAR value is typically around 1.1 to 1.3, then they say it's a 1.0 average. A Wi-Fi router, 0.1 to 0.5, and then a computer monitor, EMF levels are typically much lower than those from the Quest 3. I don't know why they put EMF levels with the computer monitor in this section, so let's just scratch that. But while radiation levels from the Meta Quest 3 are within safe limits, they say, it's essential to follow proper usage guidelines and to take precautions to minimize exposure. This is where things get goofy. Use the headset in a well-ventilated area to reduce RF exposure. Okay, so they're recommending you are not in an area where the signals bounce off walls and affect you. I mean, most people are using this thing inside, right? Avoid using the headset for extended periods, meaning more than two to three hours without taking breaks. Um, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Keep the headset away from your body when not in use. Keep it away from your body when you're not using it. What? Okay, that tells you that if it's on, it's putting off a signal and to not be around it even when it's not in use. So th this is coming from, you know, I'm not one writing this stuff. So it's also very important to note that the scientific consensus is that RF energy at levels below the safety limits does not pose a health risk. However, some studies have raised concerns about the potential health effects of long-term exposure to RF energy. Conclusion. The MetaQuest 3's radiation levels are within safe limits, but it's still essential to follow proper usage guidelines and take precautions to minimize exposure. If you have specific concerns or questions, I encourage you to consult with a healthcare professional or qualified expert in the field. I recommend if you're going to use this thing, which I don't have one, but I would like one, but that's my biggest concern. So what do you do? You use it, you get on Wi-Fi, and then you download some games that you want and then you get off Wi-Fi and then can you actually fully turn the Wi-Fi off or is while the thing on your head though the Wi-Fi might not be connected to a signal the Wi-Fi router receiver on there is still on so you still have a cell phone on on your head sending and receiving signal it's you don't want that going on you don't want it the best way that I can think of stopping that is getting RF blocking material 
in lining the lining inside the eyepiece with the RF blocking material. Um, obviously you can't do the eye holes. Um, and then wearing an RF blocking hat, your tin foil hat. This is where the tin foil hat gets real, not actual tin foil because that, um, <laughs> that doesn't block energy that like helps bring more in as far as I know. Um, so yeah, that would be a resolution is to, uh, you know, get yourself a cap, put that cap on. This is a, <laughs> this is a Christmas sock that ain't going to work. And, um, cause, um, oh man, it just, I can just see man, 10 years down the road, there's just this drastic increase in the C word with people on their head, eyes, you know, just. Especially you got these people, these kids, you know, they're doing this for hours and hours on end. So, um, I, I personally think that it's highly dangerous. And uh, for, the, for the sake of money and entertainment, people are sacrificing their mental and their um, overall longevity of their time here on Earth. So, God bless you and um, subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.